Hears that hear me, Christ ever be. Good evening. Yeah. Welcome to our celebration of Mass. It's uh, the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Welcome also if you join us online. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To celebrate worthily this evening by hearing, understanding and accepting the word of God and receiving the Eucharist worthily, we pray. For we will hear more parables from Matthew's Gospel as we did last week, as we did the week before. Listen out for the similarities in the differences between the two very short two-line parables. We ask forgiveness, calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of all those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that you, with our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those things which ever endure. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask what you would like me to give you. Solomon replied, Lord, my God, you have made me your servant king in succession to David, my father. But I am a very young man and skilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of his pe this people of yours that you have chosen a people so many its numbers cannot be counted or reckoned. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil, for who could govern this people of yours that is so great? It pleased the Lord that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you have asked for this, the Lord said, and not asked for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself, here and now I do what you ask. I give you a heart, wise and shrewd, as none before you has had, and none will have after you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. My part I have resolved, O Lord, is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Lord, how I love your law. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come to me and I shall live, for your law is my delight. Lord, how I love your law. This is why I love your commands more than finest gold. That is why I rule my life by your precepts. I hate false ways. Lord, how I love your law. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Lord, how I love your law. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him, with all those that he has called according to his purpose. 
They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true image, uh, images of his son, so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this, those he called justified, and with those he justified, he shared his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns, and buys the field. Or again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes, sells everything he owns, and buys it. Have you understood all this? He asked them. And they said, yes. And he said to them, well then, Every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Other than how to use them, I don't really know very much about washing machines and tumble dryers. But if I go to buy one, I assume that the one that costs £499 is better than the one that costs £299. And I don't know that much about wine, but when I go to Mr Tesco's, I assume that the wine that costs £12.99 is better than the wine that costs £7.99. So, the cost and the value are related. Imagine someone swapped the price tags around. I might find myself paying a cost for something which has little value. Cost and value are not the same thing. And sometimes they get confused in people's minds. Oscar Wilde said a cynic was someone who knew the cost of everything and the value of nothing. The Gospel points out that sometimes we find something of immense value by accident and sometimes we find something of immense value because we've spent our lives looking for it. And Jesus suggests that the Kingdom of God, God's way of doing things, is immeasurably more valuable than any other choice any other scheme, any other series, a system of values. The challenge for us, I think, is to be the opposite of the cynic, to recognise that we give without counting the cost, and in doing so, we possess something of extraordinary value, something that is so much more valuable than what it's cost us. But that's a challenge, that's a difficult thing to do, because it's a risk the man hides the treasure again, goes away, sells everything he owns to possess the field because it contains the treasure. The merchant sells everything he owns in order to possess the peril that he's been looking for all his life. The challenge is to recognise when we have something of immense value and then the cost of having it, of possessing it, of being it, of, make it, of making it our own is worth it.
the reason Solomon is included in the readings tonight is that he didn't ask for stuff, but asked for wisdom to discern what stuff was better than what other stuff. That the guidance of God's holy people was of surpassing value, and all the other stuff was just costly. It's a difficult way to look at the world, and it involves us challenging ourselves, taking from our storeroom, as Jesus says, things both old and new. Some of the values handed on to us, some of the things we've learned in our families, will be of great use in discerning and choosing and making those moral and ethical decisions that we have to face day to day. But we may need also new values and new skills to discern situations which did not arise when the values that were handed on to us were values that were handed on to us. The invitation to pray for wisdom, to pray for discernment, and to recognise that we need new skills as well as old ones. And in doing that, we have to do that most difficult thing for us. We have to change. We will do anything other than change. As we know, the challenge is, can we change? Can we adapt? Can we make the kingdom of God something of surpassing value to us? So for those who are disciples, not counting the cost, but recognising the value, as opposed to being cynics, recognising the cost, but not the value, for each other and ourselves, we pray this evening. To pray for our needs, we stand. Guide your church to cherish and cultivate the precious seed of the kingdom, that all your people may be gathered into one in holiness. Teach us to recognise the old and the new treasures that have been revealed and entrusted to us, to ma maintain past integrity and explore new opportunities. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May all that tends to goodness and love in the world be recognised and developed. Give to the rulers of the nations and to all in authority the understanding that there is a greater kingdom than their own and a richer treasure than their wealth, so that life for all shall be more abundant. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Help us to value more fully the gifts that we have received and to help our families, our friends and neighbours towards the kingdom. Make us wise in our households to be faithful to the past and open to the future. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Have mercy on those suffering from despair and depression because they have not known the true values that lead to contentment. Set free all whose lives are constrained by the errors of the past and those who are afraid of what is new. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Receive into life the souls who have been brought to the eternal shore in the net of salvation and made members of the kingdom towards which they strove on earth. May they find rest and treasure greater than they have known. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. To these are general intercessions. We add prayer for our own particular and local needs. We remember those who have asked us to pray for them, especially those whom we know to be in particular need at this time, and those who have asked us to remember them in prayer. Pray for those who join us online, particularly if they are unwell or they are caring for others who are sick, elderly or infirm, either in hospital or care home as their vocation or within their families. Lord will bless, strengthen them, and reward them for their generosity of heart. Pray for ourselves and for each other that we'll be people who live by value and not by cost. And so recognise how something that costs us little can be valuable in the lives of others as well as in our own lives. 
And finally, we remember our dead. We pray for those who have died recently, especially Liz Brennan, and those whose anniversaries occur about now, especially those we've been asked to remember in prayer. That they may all know the presence of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, you call us to be your people and to know your presence and the value of your gifts. Help us to treasure what we possess of your kingdom and to do all we can to discern ways to live a little better as you have called us. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be, Blessed God, be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let's pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, these offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful workings of your grace, this sacred mystery may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of your Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, so that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ in the temple of your Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as your church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and together with all the saints, with joy, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to life eternal, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. For the coming of God's kingdom, we pray, as the Lord Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. In Thee, O Lord, put my trust. In Thee, O Lord, I put my trust. In Thee, O Lord, I put my trust. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Let's stand and pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for our salvation. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your presence this evening. Thank you if you joined us online. Thank you particularly if you uh, tweaked your schedule in order to allow uh, me to look after both St. Philans and St. Connells. And welcome if you're joining us from St. Philans this evening. Um, Father Andrew will come for his tea on Monday night and I'll hand over, we'll do a handover meeting and I'll bring him up to date with everything that's happened in the past month and everything that I foresee happening in the month to come, uh, since he'll be taking over uh, on Tuesday morning. Uh, masses will be at the usual times, as you see in the bulletin, Facebook uh, and uh, on our website. Um, please make him welcome, um, and uh, he will continue to look after things. My phone will be monitored and answered, um, emails similarly, so you can contact the parish in all the usual ways, and the matters will be dealt with. Thanks for your presence. I hope you have a nice evening, a good weekend, and a nice week ahead. We ask God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. That title so wondrous fills all our desire. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for God's glory. May his kingdom come. We pray for his vicar, our father and Rome. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our mother, the church upon earth. And bless sweetest lady, the land of her birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria.